Amen. I take it. I take it that the Lord would give us. I mean, we were having a conversation yesterday, ministry team. We had our meeting yesterday, and uh, was interesting to see. We're talking about um, and it's something we'll navigate eventually by God's grace. And we're talking about the impact. How do we pray? Interceding. Do we still believe what we're praying? I feel like a lot of people are still hurting. People are coasting. I know we have used the old um, God's will, you know, the providence. But I realize sometimes when we talk about the sovereignty of God, which is important, a lot of people speak about it from the place of um, frustration or religious statements because that they don't really believe because of fear. And it's like, you know what? Don't question God, do uh, you know? But I've always said there's a difference between asking God question and questioning God. So we're going to do that by God's grace tomorrow morning. Just we're going to pray into how we are tomorrow morning even navigating this whole season every time you go to market how do you feel do you still believe what you have prayed every time you go to buy fuel for those that are abroad i know i see people here in the country you are connected to so somewhat there's a there's a pool there's a talk and you know just very important to find out how we're doing and to know that the promises of god does not change because of our circumstance instead our circumstances will change because of the promises of god to stay in that place and just find out um one of the the um intercessors i mean it was so powerful was talking about how you no know, she's able navigating even what is happening the tri tribal tension in some offices in some places having to deliberately not to fall for that narrative not to respond you are in conversations like guys things are happening i feel like unfortunately unfortunately as a church i don't know if we're really addressing it or we're just sweeping it down and we're just praying over it i feel like yes there's a place to pray and there's a place to have conversations so we're going to just really trust God to help us navigate the season. So I really say yes and amen to that word that the promises of God stands regardless of what is what we are faced with and, and, and the likes. Amen. Praise God. Before we go into today's um prayer, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. I woke up with a song. And it's been interesting. I hope a lot of us are engaging in this praying in the spirit that we're doing all through the month of July, you know, and um, it's it's quite interesting because every day I've been either I'm waking up with instructions, I'm waking up with God showing me um, certain things, showing me maybe there are gaps or areas of my life that is trying to highlight, you know, something to me to deal with i've been waking up with different things and i love it like i'm really enjoying open heavens in another realm and i'm really grateful to god hallelujah um we're gonna be doing that i'm gonna sing the song that i received and i pray the lord god will help us in the name of jesus um yeah i woke up singing showers of blessing somebody can put the lyrics um in the place I want to put the lyrics in place. Uh, let me sing it. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons refreshing sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us are falling. But for the showers we plead, that just hit me now. You know, I don't know if you've ever noticed, messy drops are for a lot of us have been enjoying messy drops. Anybody can relate that in the last you've been enjoying messy drops. You know that you're just enjoying, you are able to, you know, pay salary. Shah, you shall pull everything, you pay salary, you shall pull everything, you pay their bills. You're like you've been enjoying mess, but what we are pleading for, the increase we are asking for is for the showers of blessing. Stanzas two, there shall be showers of blessing, pressures reviving again over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain, 
showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Messy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessings. Send them upon us, O Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing. Come and now honor thy word. The showers of blessings. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us are falling. But for the showers we plead, there shall be showers of blessing. Oh, that today they might fall. When, when today, now as to God we confessing, now as on Jesus we call, showers of blessing. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us are falling. But for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessing. If we but trust and obey. There shall be seasons refreshing. If we let God have his way. Showers of blessing, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. I want you to meet your mic wherever you are and begin to pray whichever of these times that there's a place that talks about trust and obey. So these showers is even is even inch on us trusting and uh, obeying God. Come on, open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, your showers is your showers of blessing. Is your showers of blessing. Is your showers of blessings. We plead that, oh God, if we trust and obey, we pray that, oh today, they might fall to you, Lord. We thank you for the mercy drops. We thank you for the mercy drops. We thank you for the mercy drops. We pray for increase, whatever instruction we live on our hearts. Lord, we respond in the name of Jesus. Let it rain, 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 let it rain
Mada, I release my food from the showers of blessing. I release my feet from the showers of blessing. Mada, I release my food from the showers of blessing. You can have a Glory to God in Satava. I walk in reality. Men the Oh, 
for it. I believe for it. I declare it. I the Lord of my soul and forget not his benefits who forgives all my sins who heals me all my diseases who deals me from the pit who crowns me with terror love and mercy satisfy me with sweet not so my youth is renewed glory to God Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is in him in blessed his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all my mistakes, who heals all my diseases, who redeems me from the structure, who crowns me with love, love given, love kindness and tender mercy, who satisfies my mouth with good things. Glory to God. He satisfies my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord executes judgment and justice for all who are to oppress that. He made known his way to Moses and his act to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. He will not always, always strive with us, nor he keep his anger forever. Oh, forget not his benefit. He's the one that causes the showers of blessings. I thank you for the benefit of the showers of blessing. I thank you for the benefit of the showers of blessing. Glory to God. I see it. I feel it. Testimonies all around. You need to fight the fight of faith. In the name of Jesus. This morning, I just want to tell you, see, we need to fight. The only battle you are allowed to fight is the fight of faith. The only battle you are allowed as a believer to engage in is the fight of faith. It's the fight of faith. I don't care how great your life is, there is more. I don't care how, I thank God for the great things you enjoyed, but there is more. And this more is not from a place of covetousness. It's, a, it's a, from the place of what is given to you. When I say there's more, don't just think about money. There is more that you can do for God. There is more that you can operate with with God. I can clearly tell you, I'm not the same person last year. I'm not the same person five years ago. I can clearly tell you there is a dimension of the anointing I operate in now that is way greater than what I've operated in before. I can clearly tell you that the heaven open, heaven open heavens have always under, worked under in, in, in all the all the time. Open heavens have always worked under. It's still very present. It's, it's present and has increased. Even under open heavens, there are realms. There are realms. So, Hallelujah! We thank you, Jesus, that we will commit commit one of the things I heard yesterday as well. Tell them to increase in forgiveness. Increase in forgiveness. Increase in forgiveness. There's nothing that slows down your prayer, shuts the heaven over you, that will not allow the showers than unforgiveness. It's one of the most deadly um, 
what would I call it? Um, um, triggers for short ever. One of the deadly triggers for short ever. So we must release, live in love, forgive, practice love. Practicing love is not always easy, I, I tell you. But by the grace of God, it's possible. So we thank God for the mercy drops, but the showers we plead. So if, one of the things I do, I'm going to meditate on this song and the words all through the day. Look for scriptures and use it to pray about the showers of blessing. About the showers of blessing. An example is, you might not see the rain, you might not see the wind, but your valley shall be filled. Be specific in prayer. What is it that you're trusting God for? What is your reason? And, you know, and pray, pray about it and then begin to thank God. Some of us, you don't need to keep going back to repeating the same thing. Begin to thank God about that which he has done. At least the reason why some of us have repetition in prayer is because we're not yet fully persuaded. We've not really come into what it is that we're praying. And okay, labor in the word. Get yourself through the word to the point where you understand what God is saying. Pray in the spirit. Declare it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Declare it. God has released the word. There is, a sh- there is showers of blessing. There is showers of blessing. You begin, oh, glory to God. I have this. I have this. The Lord has to consider the same thing. Let me see. You know what to do. Let's do it the way we do it. I'm just beginning to thank the glory to God. I have it. I have it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you, Jesus. Pray in the spirit. Build your most holy faith. Build your tenacity to wait. Build up to that level. Luke chapter 18. It's called the importunity of prayer. Where you stop only refuse to go back to the thing God has delivered you from. Where you stop only refuse to give up until you get your answer. And one of the ways you do that is Thanksgiving. So let the people praise it, then the people praise it. Then the land will use is increased. Your God, your God will bless you. There is a kind of blessing that comes from Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we sit down with God. And I love the last part. He said, there will be showers of blessing if only we trust and obey. If only we can trust and obey. So what are you, are you trusting? Are you obeying? What is God saying? What is the instruction? What are the instructions? What's God saying? He said, there will be showers of blessing. There will be time of refreshing. If only we'll let go and let God. I'm paraphrasing now. What, are we struggling with God? Are we fighting with God? Would you allow God? Would you let God be God? A lot of times we are so concerned about the faithfulness of God when we should be concerned about our own faith. Because God is faithful. That's who he is. That is why we're even in this equation, equation in the first place. Because he gave a word to some people thousands of years before we even ever existed. Can we just begin to thank God for this morning? That there is showers of blessing. We thank God for the mercy drops. We thank God for the mercy drops. You know, as I've always asked the Lord about that. That Lord, ha, I hope it's not just me. I know, I mean, I get it. I know more I thank God for the mercy, but I hope I am in so much in sync and getting the best of the abundance that you have given. So Lord, we thank you for the mercy drop, but the showers of blessing is what we plead. Is the shower that means there's a distinction between the mercy drops in that context and the showers of blessing. That is saying that from just enough to more than enough. Oh Lord, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. We would thank you, Jesus, for the mercy drops. And we thank you that, Lord, the showers of blessing is what we plead. For that reason, we thank you for the showers of blessing. Somebody begin to thank God because it's a season of showers of blessing. It's a season of open heavens. There is increase, increase, oh God, increase on all sides. Increase in what we experience. Increase in what is given to us. Increase, oh God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I know today is um, Sister Mary's 40th. And there's somebody else today's at birthday as well. Um, where they so we can pray for them. Happy birthday, um, Sister Mary. Happy 40th birthday. I love and celebrate you. Thank you for your consistency. Thank you for being a blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I hope I'm not mistaken. Today is your birthday, right? I believe. May I please confirm today is your birthday, right? Yes. All right, today is your birthday. Happy birthday to you. There's somebody else. There. Okay, Olabisi, happy birthday, Sister Olabisi. We pray the Lord will celebrate you Himself. He will celebrate you. Yes, that's the word. The Lord will celebrate you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will move mountains for you. Happy birthday, Sister Mary and Sister Olabisi. The Lord God will come through for you mightily in the name of Jesus. Today is the beginning of the greater days of your life. You have reasons to celebrate, you have reasons to rejoice in jesus name amen can we just unmute and shout happy birthday to them happy birthday we love you 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 happy birthday god bless you god bless you god bless you 
Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see Thank you soon. You. God bless you. Thank you, Ma. I appreciate it. God bless you, Ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. God bless you all. Remember, you can use the link to join other watches by 9 12 3 6. Higher. 9 12 3. And we're back again tomorrow by 6. Again, like I said, um, I had a great time having a conversation yesterday with some of the people in the ministry team. And we ended up, and someone shared their own experience. And I think it's a powerful, powerful um, thing to discuss. And hopefully we will discuss in Jesus' name. Amen. Where is the link? It's the same link. Um, God, let, me, let me try and get the link for you. The same link to join. The 12 p.m. worship watch, 9 a.m. watch and all. The same link. All right. God bless you all. Love you. Have a great day.